for the presentation of the class of 2017, our national colors and the national anthem.
Please be seated. About five. I'll be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to wake, welcome you to the 103rd commencement of St. Albans High School and the graduation of the class of 2017. At this time, I would like to present to you our principal, Mr. Jeffrey Kelly. certainly follow my general operating procedure and document just how far along the class of 2017 has come. Lord knows it's been on rigorous haul. I would open with, the, with an incalculable number of lackluster moments and poor decisions by this group. A few cases in point, the four years of constant harassment I've received from Alexis Brown, how the Rachels, Beck, and Burnsworth had to be babysit Bo Delian artist this past trimester as he worked tediously in the office to perfect the paper clip necklace. <laughs> Just a month ago, Kelly Matthews bugging me about whether she would be in my graduation speech. All along, I'm thinking, I'm not putting her in my speech. <laughs> How literally up to this exact second, it is a slight miracle that I and Trace Poole's parents have practiced the patience necessary to avoid hurting a young man. <laughs> While I cannot pinpoint a specific act, I'm certain that Michael Parsons is worthy of this list because he simply has looked guilty of something every time I've seen him over the past four years. That recent moment when I had to educate Zach Robertson on the best strategy on how to make small pieces of paper lie flat. <laughs> Finding Kelsey Thompson's name spray painted on one of the high school's interior walls, knowing full well that Bowman, McVeigh, and or Miller were likely right beside her at the moment of tagging. I would then, of course, turn to how you emerged from your high school infancy and proved to be yet again a productive group of seniors at St. Albans High School. I could certainly highlight Andrew Henthorne's appointment to the United States Air Force Academy. Cool. <laughs> or that day I was informed that a student was choking in one of the upstairs classrooms only to enter the room and find that Hamilton Fletcher had already performed the Heimlich maneuver. He raised his hand and stated to Shirley, don't worry, Mr. Kelly, I got this. <laughs> As if he had previously performed it a thousand times. Athletically, a boys soccer team that rose to third in the state rankings at one point. A girls basketball team that took St. Albans High School back to the state tournament. Our wrestlers who completed an amazing four-year run that included finishes of 15th, 13th, 6th, and 4th at this West Virginia State Wrestling Tournament. A baseball team that is currently 28-7, ranked 4th, and slated to compete in the regionals next week for a state tournament berth. Academically, a senior class that again had ACT scores above that of the state standard, a group that also showed more growth than any school in the state on the 2016 Smart Balance Assessment, posting the six highest math scores in the state. The class of 2017 was awarded $3.7 million in scholarships as a result of their academic. scholarship recipients. Generally, I would then, of course, discuss how so many of you contributed to this group's personality and how you have made St. Albans High School a great place to work. The always astute Abigail Oliver, Emily Duncan's gentle heart, the politeness of Jared Carter, 
and always smiling Jeremy Linton, Caitlin Eastep's unwavering commitment, and Andrew Chandler's wisdom, to name a few. As I said, I could, but tonight I want to do something different. I want to do something special because I think it is both important and necessary. I want you, the class of 2017, to join me in giving a gift. You all okay with that? We do that. This gift sits at the end of a story, a story that takes us back some three years. Most of you were wrapping up your freshman year, and those of you in the high school one-on-one -on -one classes were asked to write a letter. More specifically, you were asked to write a letter giving advice to the following year's incoming freshmen. You guys remember that? The following includes excerpts from one such letter. May 7, 2014. Dear incoming freshmen, I am here to help you through your freshman year. The following are some ways to make it easier for yourself. Take a deep breath, stay relaxed, and don't stress about being in a new school. It's just another ordinary school year. While you are back at the bottom of the food chain, just be yourself and stay composed. You will make new friends in no time. Everything will be okay. Listen to the information given in High School 101. It actually helps. It will help you adapt to high school properly. Do your work and turn it in on time. You will not be reminded about it. And I'll learn quickly that teachers do not accept late work. Study whenever you can. I nearly failed a class. I did all the work, but I couldn't pass the tests. Try new things, meet new people, and participate in extracurricular activities. These tips will really help you in your freshman year. Good luck this year. You are now a red dragon. Enjoy it. Your friend, Leland Brown. Leland's handwritten letter later that summer. It has been on my wall in the war room ever since. Among the sound advice he, he provided, the old English teacher and me immediately recognized two items in that letter. The first and last pieces that Leland had written, he opened with, I'm here to help you, and he closed with your friend, Leland Brown. Simple yes, but also very powerful, and it said so much to me about his character. Unfortunately, I did not get to know Leland as so many of you did, but I grew to know him through you. I observed the tears, the grief, and the sadness, but also the love, the cherished memories, and the inspiration. And that latter set has been truly remarkable for me to observe. It's as if Leland has been with you all every step of the way. It was as if you unconsciously insisted he be here with the class of 2017 throughout and he has been. Time did not cause his memory to fade. That has been so powerful for me to watch, and it has weighed on me. How do we acknowledge that? How do we recognize it? And how do we honor it? So tonight, I want the class of 2017 to join me in both honoring Leland and in presenting a gift to St. Albans High School in his memory. So on behalf of the class of 2017, I present Leland's letter, beginning the 2017-2018 school year and every year hereafter, Leland's letter will be distributed to all incoming freshmen. Its purpose, to welcome our freshmen into the Red Dragon family and provide them a guide for success. Leland has been and will continue to be a source of inspiration for all of us and it is our hope that his legacy will continue through this effort and positively impact future Red Dragons. I've asked that Megan, Andrew, and Jaden, as representatives of the class of 2017, join me in signing this declaration, making Leland's letter an official part of our High School 101 curriculum at St. Albans High School from this day forward.